Driver's license these days is a lot tougher than the past. Not because of the tests, it's because of COVID-19. Inside classrooms have been reduced to 25% capacity, nine students. Forcing schools like the Michigan Driving School North to pop up a tent and head outside so they can host 36. It's, it's hard. You get breezes, you get rain, you know what I'm saying? We have to cancel sometimes for thunder and lightning for severe weather. So there's, there's, there's just, it's, it's a lot harder. It's, a lot, it's more work. Now, while the inside classroom has shrunk, the actual behind-the-wheel training has not. You can actually put three students in a car still. These are, they never changed the restrictions on the driving. It's, it's the same as it used to be other than, other than the disinfecting the vehicles in between drives and, and the uh, um, masks. And we do wear masks all the time while we're driving. Well, isn't it odd to you that nine students in a building, but at the same time you can have four people in a car? Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Chabonsky says he has over 30 employees. None of them have tested positive. As for the students, only one informed them of a positive test after just one class session. So if one of those students has it and you're in a car, you don't care if you're wearing a mask or not, you're going to get infected. I don't see how you're not. And, and try to put a mask on a student for two hours straight and see how that works. Because of the shutdown, Jablonski says he has a long waiting list. He says it's north of 250, and that's just at his Bay City location. For WNAM TV 5, I'm Scott Johnson. Scott, thank you. Spartan football is emerging from a two-week quarantine, and practice will resume on the gridiron tomorrow. TV 5's 